Our question for resilience is name all seven. Pride's question was what year did How long did it take? What was small, purple and brown? What were the girls' name? What was the year? Which agent Greek? Who were the two people? Who did? Hi everybody and welcome to Challenge Mrs. Davison. This is how this is going to work this morning. Mrs. Davison's going to answer your questions that you've been thinking of and that you recorded last week. And if she gets it wrong, you will get five minutes extra playtime for your class. At the end of all the questions, Mrs. Davison will be asked a killer question. And if she gets that wrong, every single class in school will get an extra 15 minutes playtime today. Fire up your quiz box and let's get a puzzling. What's small, purple, and brown? And dig it out of the ground. What was the year? What year did they grow? A seed? It could be a turnip, but it, that's not as small as a seed. That's wrong. What were the girls' name? What had a fruit stolen out of a basket? Ooh. Now, um, I think that is Handa from Handa's Surprise. Right! Time for something a little bit trickier. Right question was, what year did Neil Armstrong go on the moon? That was in 1967. That's wrong. Forgiveness' question is how long did it take Helen Charming to become the chain and for an astronaut? I would have thought that would take a very long time, but she's a very clever lady. So I'm going to go for two years. Uh uh, that's wrong. Responsibilities question is Who were the two people who went onto the moon with Neil Armstrong? Oh my goodness. Buzz Aldrin and. Did he take his favourite teddy bear with him as well? Mrs. Davison, you're going down. Wrap your brains around this little puzzler. Um, the question is for expectations. Which, um, which agent Greek tried to uh, uh, c uh, put together all the uh, city countries and uh, try to conquer the world? The Greek city-states uh, united all the Greek city-states. No idea, um, but I would say Homer. In organisation's question is, who was the messenger for the Athens army in ancient Greek times. Did he have wings on his feet? And oh, I've forgotten his name. Um, Pegasus, but that was a false idea. No idea. Uh -uh, that's wrong. didn't quite fit with um, the ruling party at the time. That's... Put 
this question through your puzzle blender and mash the mince into a burger of knowledge. Our question for resilience is name all seven Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. Oh goodness, there was, um, was it Humberland or Humberside? There was definitely Northumberland. There was um, Wessex and Sussex and what the bit Essex? I think I'll say Essex as well. Now, what was Corn? I'll just say Cornwall because I can't think of what else it would be. Um, part of Northumberland so I'll just leave that one out of it and then there'd be Wales I wonder if yeah we'll have Wales um, so there's one more Lancashire no that would be Northumberland wouldn't it because Lancashire and West and Yorkshire came after that oh I've said Wessex, Sussex, Essex, Cornwall Anglia no, that's East, East Anglia, because Anglia is the whole of England, isn't it? East Anglia. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. What were they That's wrong. Collaboration's question is, what was the year when the treaty between the Anglo-Saxons and the Danes signed? Goodness me, that was a very long time ago. Um, Alfred the Great, I would say in the 900s, but I've no idea when. 987 AD. Uh -uh, that's wrong. What was the Viking god Thursday named after? Um, the Viking god is Thor, I think, for Thursday. How long is the Maya calendar? How long is it? Can you fit it on an A4 sheet? No, I don't think that's what you're asking me. Um, I would say, um, I don't really know, 10 months in terms of the Roman calendar. <laughs> that's wrong. So this brings us towards the end of Challenge Mrs. Davison. There is just one question to go. And I'm a little bit disappointed so far, Mrs. Davison, because I did have a lot of sound effects ready for the right answers, but unfortunately I've not been able to use them. Um, if my maths is better than your quiz answering, then um, you only got two answers correct. That means that 10 classes so far have an extra five minutes play time to use. But we are going to the killer question now. The killer question, if Mrs. Davison gets that wrong, every single class in school will get an extra 15 minutes play time. That 15 minutes will be taken for year six this week and for the rest of the school after the summer holidays, just because there's so many children isolating and not in school, it seems unfair to do it this week. Um, before I hand you over to Mrs. Deering to ask that killer question, I just want to say a special thank you to Mrs. Davison for having the um, courage and being brave in answering all of these questions. None of the questions were easy. Um, I guarantee if I'd been asked them, I wouldn't be getting them right either. The, um, so thank you, Mrs. Davison, for being brave and being a good sport and um, allowing us to challenge Mrs. Davison. We'll go and do the killer question now. 
um, and we will see you whether you all get the extra playtime or not. So good luck to Mrs. Davison, but I kind of hope that you get it wrong. Are you ready for the killer question? Which scientist developed the mass behind the global positioning system? Well, I know that it wasn't Escher because I think it's likely to have been um, more of a modern day scientist. Oh. But it's a very difficult question. I wonder which class came up with that one because it's very. No, I'm not cheating. Um, I have no idea of the answer. Um, I'm just trying to think of any scientists that I know of that have been involved in global positioning. I suppose Tom Tom or Garmin weren't scientists, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll go for Tom Tom because I can't think of another scientist. Global positioning is not really my thing, so. I don't really know. But Tom Tom uses satellites. Garmin uses satellites. Oh, mind you. There was a particular scientist involved in developing the Garmin, wasn't there? And I do remember about that because we did research between getting a Tom Tom or a Garmin and we went for Garmin and it might have been somebody, something to do with that development. But then again, I can't remember the name of the person. I wonder if Garmin. Garmin's probably the company that developed the actual device. Um, but I'll go for Garmin then. Mrs. Davison is 